Did you know that in a surgical procedure, we could use up to 75 surgical sponges? At Salina Regional, we have a new technology to help us keep track of these sponges during surgery. My name is Elizabeth Brosh. I'm the Education Coordinator for Surgery at Salina Regional Health Center. Beth, thank you so much for coming on the show. We're going to be talking about a new, uh, new technology that you're using at, in surgery at Salina Regional Health Center, Surge Account. What is it? Um, surge Account is an electronic system that allows us to do a double check on our surgical sponge counts for surgery. Explain why this is so important. Uh, patient safety. Um, surgical sponges are used very often in surgery, so um, obviously they're something that have a potential to be left behind and that causes a huge risk for the patient, so um, this is a system that allows us to mitigate that risk. Let's take us through the technology a little bit and taking us actually through a surgery and how it's used. Of course. Um, so the surge account scanner um, we use to scan the sponges in at the beginning of the surgery. Um, it takes a tally of all the sponges that we scan in. Um, then we also do manual counts in addition to that. Um, throughout the surgery, any extra sponges that are used, we scan into the system and also manually count so that when the procedure is finished, um, we have a total on the surge account and a manual total of how many sponges we should have. Um, we count at the end, and if there's a discrepancy, we immediately initiate a search, um, and otherwise we scan all the sponges out and proceed with uh, closing the surgery. And you talked about you know going to see a search if you do have one in there. That's actually helped that process as well now, right? Absolutely, yes. Um, this is actually the third generation of surge account that we have at Salina Regional, um, but new technology with this generation is that it comes with a reader that has um, an RFID finder for the sponges. So if we finish a case and our sponge counts are off, um, we can use the reader to help locate the missing sponge in the room. Um, so it speeds the process up. We're actually the first hospital in the country to roll out with this new technology for surge account. Beth, I don't think people realize, you know, the technology that we have, you know, at the size of hospital that Salina Regional is, just what type of technology we have in the surgery area. Why don't you talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Um, I think for a hospital um, the size of ours, um, we have an outstanding amount of technology. Um, we're really fortunate to work in um, an environment where we get to use a lot of technology to help patient outcomes. We have um, two Da Vinci robotic surgery systems. Um, we use those for urology, gynecology, and general surgery. We also have um, a Stryker Mako robot that we use for total hip and knee replacements, um, in addition to um, a brain lab spinal navigation. So we can use that for cranial navigation or spinal navigation. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. And thank you for watching. For more information, please visit srhc.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram.